puts of the people. I'm repeating it. The dash has the has highest share in GDP, whereas the dash sector employs the most of the people. Options are first primary, secondary, second, secondary, tertiary, third, tertiary, primary, fourth, tertiary, secondary. I'm repeating again the options. First option, primary, secondary. Second is the secondary tertiary. Third is the tertiary primary. Fourth is the tertiary secondary. Yes. Primary and? Primary and? Secondary. And your answer? Then your answer. Primary and tertiary. Okay. Secondary and tertiary. Uh, Shivan said it is as a tertiary and primary. Who has given as a tertiary and primary? It can sit. Sit down. The statement, it will be the tertiary sector has the highest share in GDP, whereas the primary sector employs the most of the people in India. Okay. Aap keh rahe no, secondary sector has provided the most number of job opportunities. And you, tertiary sector provides the most. Okay, next. Next is the the sectors are classified into the public and private sector. Sectors which are classified as a public and private on the basis of, these are on the basis of dash. First option, employment conditions. Second option, number of workers employed in the enterprises. Third option, ownership of enterprises. Fourth option, the nature of economic activities. Wait, Raghav. Sorry. First option is a employment conditions. Second is a number of workers employed in the enterprise. Third is a ownership of enterprise. Fourth is a the nature of economic activities. Question is a the sectors are classified into public and private. These are categorized on the basis of dash. Sorry. Three. Sit down. Ownership. Shivansh also given the correct answer. Shivansh and Harshit. Very good. Okay, let me see. Oh, okay. Nishta, Shivansh, Harshit given as a correct answer. Mehul also. Next question. Little bit or more easier question. So arrange the following sectors. Such sectors of Indian economy as per the possibilities, the perspective of a job opportunities, the possibilities of a job opportunities in ascending order. Sectors are primary, secondary, tertiary. Primary, secondary, tertiary, arrange them in that order of a perspective of a job opportunities, possibilities of a job opportunities in present for a better future. Your answer. Your answer. Raghav answer. And your answer. Okay. One from the online. Which name? Suggest me. Very good. Hashita will answer. Hashita, raise your hand. Hashita. Hashita, raise your hand, Bache. Yes, sir. Yes, answer it. On the, uh, sorry. On the basis of the perspective of a job opportunities in present, we can arrange that these activities, primary, secondary, into primary, secondary, tertiary, as the, for the job perspective in present. Job uh, primary, Yes. Primary, secondary, tertiary. No, those who have given the answer as a tertiary, secondary, primary, they can say. Tertiary is the best of possibilities are there because that sector is a lagging behind in a 70 years of Indian independence. Jaha growth nahi huye, waha possibilities hain. Jaha growth ho chuki hai, waha kya possibilities hongi? Primary sector is a fully developed in India. 60% of job opportunities are there. If the more possibilities hongi, means the uh, more uh, earlier as a secondary and tertiary have providing the more. But this is not true. Primary sector has providing the more job opportunities comparatively to secondary and tertiary. Tertiary having the more perspective comparatively to secondary because service sector has improving since last 30 years. After, just uh, answer the America. This is tertiary, secondary, for primary. That was right. Now he is sitting. Do you want to ask me that I sit? No, he said tertiary, secondary, primary. 
Shivansh said primary, tertiary, secondary, no. Primary has already providing a 60% job opportunities. No possibilities of a growth in a primary sector. Okay, growth ki possibilities hi nahi hai. Next question. Another easy question. No, it's an easy question. Indian Railways is an example of a public sector. Indian Railways is an example of a public sector. So it is controlled. Two statements are there. Both are correct. Both are incorrect. First is correct. Second is you are familiar with this. Okay. The statements are in relation to the Indian Railways. It is controlled and managed by the government. First statement. Second statement is a, it is a medium of a public transport. Both are correct. Both are correct in relation to the Indian Railways as an example of a public sector. B option kya hai? Nahi, mene assertion reason hi pucha aapko. Second is correct. Second is that it is controlled, so it is a medium of a public transport. Yes, Raga, your answer. A statement hai, Indian Railways is an example of a public sector. It's related to those statements. Hai. Si hai, pehli hai. It is controlled and managed by the government. Second is a, it is a medium of a public transport. Both are correct in relation to the question. Indian railways are managed by the government, uh, managed by the public sector. Yes. Yes. Question me hai, Indian railways is an example of public sector as which explains that it is controlled and managed by the government. Second is a, it is a medium of a public transport. In relation to the Indian railways as the public sector, managed by the public sector. Second is correct. Your answer? Both are correct. Okay. Any suggested name from an online class? Rishit Bora will answer. Rishit Bora. Rishit Bora. Raise your hand, Bachchan. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, answer. Sir, both are correct. Both are correct. Statements are both are correct. Means as Indian Railways only as a public transport. Roadways are not as a public transport. Yes. Aap keh rahe Aap keh rahe First, first say here in relation to the, that question. Question it was as an Indian Railways is an example of a public sector because it is controlled, managed by the government and their agencies. When classification of a sector on the basis of ownership, it was discussed. Usme meaning bataya tha. Those firms, those organizations which are directly controlled by the government and their agencies are a public sector like BSNL, MTNL, Indian Railways, Postal Services. MTNL is equivalent to the telecommunication services, just like BSNL, hai. Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited. Okay? So, private sector, those firms which are owned by the individuals or group of individuals. Public sector has work for the welfare, private sector work for the profits. So, very good answer. Nobody given the correct answer. Next, easier question. Economic activities. Pay attention. Bhavin, pay attention. Economic activities are classified on the basis of dash. Economic activities, there are the two types of activities are occur in an economy. One is the economic, second are a, second is a, no options are there. One is economic, second is a, there are a two types of the activities are sustained in economy. One is economic activity, second is a, very good, Raghav Sharma. Non-economic activities. Non-economic activity. Non-economic activity. Raghav Sharma, it has hired a, one of the individual at their shop. Kisi ko isne hire kiya apni shop pe kaam karwane ke liye. It's a shop hai, ready-made garments ki. Thik hai na? Vahan pe kaam karwane ke liye jisko rakha hai, it will be as an economic activity. But when the Raghav Sharma, it will be doing the work at their own shop, it will be the non-economic activity. Why? Because for that particular shop, their parents are not paying him the money. For those particular worker ko payment mil rahi hai. That's why the economic activity. Hum aise bhi samaj sakte hai, your mothers are preparing the food for you. Non-economic activity. You are not paying the money for them. But when the same women, it will be uh, making as a food in a restaurant and a hotels, then it will be the economic activity. Those activities which are associated with the generation of income are the economic activity. So question is a, uh, Economic activities are classified on the basis of 
first option level of income second option area and availability third option third option division division of resources fourth option ownership and provision of services a income level of income yani ki sabhi sectors mein income same generate hoti hai a farmer also earn the same income equivalent to the industrialist equivalent to the person which has doing a work in a banks in a insurance sector in a markets and a, a health in education sabko same income mil rahi hai ab level of income question is a uh, economic activities are classified on the basis of a on the basis of dash first option is a uh, level of income second is area and availability third is division of resources fourth is ownership and provision of services division of resources your answer now online from online expected answer from mehul very good mehul raise your hand nishtha given the correct answer mehul yes sir answer dijiye bachche economic activities can classify on the basis of level of income area and availability third division of resources and ownership and provision of services shivansh in correct it's not the level of income good answer very good mehul very good so d option is correct second. sit down those who have given the d option ownership and provision of the services ownership and provision of services next question arrange the following sectors on the basis of their share in gdp their share in gdp of india primary secondary tertiary yes arrange them in ascending order share in gdp tertiary primary yes bhavin malhotra yes bhavin otherwise they will feel as a stereotype meri turn hi nahi aayi yes bhavin tertiary tertiary secondary and primary very good aapne kya kaha tha yahi kaha tha so online from online any name kartik kartik raise your hand kartik ke raise your hand is not in a class tejveer will answer tejveer singh tejveer singh tejveer tejveer singh vansh relan vansh relan are you she is absent manikaran yes manikaran manikaran yes sir answer sir, none. The, none. none sir none very good none had to answer kya hona chahiye public sector very good sit down those who have opted as a non public sector because only as a public sector has managed and controlled by the government in organized sector the private firms are also work on the uh, on uh, on the basis of a such terms and conditions which are marked by the government any example any example of a organized sector but generally has categorized under the private sector here we is no you can't categorize the teachers and right because the most number of a private schools they are not following as such rules and regulations lpu lpu is a private sector firm but it has following the rules and regulations marked by the government it is a part of organized sector very good raghav sharma next question two are there dash is the characterized by the small and scattered units 
which are largely outside the control of the government options are first public second private third organized fourth unorganized i am repeating again as a question dash is a characterized dash is characterized by the small and scattered units which are largely outside the control of the government so raghav sharma unorganized very good second private, private sector bhavin malhotra unorganized private from online krish lutra jessica jessica malhotra jessica malhotra yes jessica yes sir answer dash is characterized by the small and the scattered units which are largely outside the control of the government public private organized unorganized jessica malhotra jessica raise your hand jessica jessica answer network problem manikaran are unorganized very good unorganized they can sit unorganized sit next question which of the following statements are true in context of gdp first statement it includes the value of final goods and services produced within a country second statement it is measured for a one year third statement it is the sum value of all goods produced within a country fourth statement it is the sum value of all services produced within a country fifth statement it is associated with the differently with different states sixth statement it is based on it is as a sum value of the intermediate and the final goods so seven statements are there out of which as a how many are correct which of the statements are correct first is first first third fourth okay first statement it was as a it includes the value of the final goods and services second is it is measured on a on the basis of a year annual basis third is it is a sum value of all goods and services produced in economy fourth statement is it is the sum value of all goods produced in economy fifth statement it is a sum value of all the services produced in economy sixth statement it is associated with the calculation of a gdp separately for a different sorry separate state different states differently for the different states yes second third and fourth first first is not correct yes you raghav sorry all services produced in economy bhavin malhotra your opinion first third and fourth second nahi hai okay according to the jasleen kaur first and second are correct others are incorrect Ashish said, "First, second, and third are correct. First, we state that the it is the value of final goods and services produced within a economy. First is correct. Second is it is measured for a one year. This one is also correct. जो कहते हैं third statement is correct. They can also say third statement is correct means uh, it is a sum value of all goods and services produced in economy." Fourth statement was a. It is a sum value of goods produced in economy. This is an incorrect statement. Incorrect. Those who are said as a. It is a sum value of all services produced in economy. This is also incorrect. Means that that person has neglected the production of a goods in a primary and secondary sector. आप टेस्टिंग सेक्टर कंसीडर कर रहे हो प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी सेक्टर नहीं कंसीडर कर रहे हो. This one is also not correct. 
next uh gdp has calculated in relation to a country not related to the state this one is also incorrect clear ab ek reh gaye hain chalo another easy question one more easy question assertion reason based question first question primary sector is the largest employer in india assertion reason is it includes all those occupations which are related to the man's natural environment like farming animal rearing and mining means assertion is correct and reason is incorrect assertion is incorrect and the reason is correct according to raghav sharma but raghav uh, as per the record said that the 60% job opportunity is generated by primary sector 100 ka 60% means more than the 50% maximum job opportunity generated by the primary sector but as according to you assertion is wrong assertion is a correct reason is also correct reason is also a correct kaun sa option choose karo first second reason has not correctly explains the assertion assertion states that the job opportunities are maximum provided by the primary sector primary sector and the reason is it includes all those occupations which are related to the man's natural environment like farming animal raising and mining many are neglect kiya kuch cheeze forestry and fishing in cheezon ko avoid kiya kya wo isme nahi aati aap keh rahe hain they are also provides the jobs Miners are doing the work in a mines for extraction of a minerals. Am I correct? Then how can you say that? Forestry people which are uh, obtaining their materials, their goods from the forest. For example, the tribals which are making as a mats, tribals bamboos. They are extracting the resources from the forest resource. वो दो चीजें मैंने neglect की. आप कह रहे हैं सही है. Reason is not a correct explanation of a assertion, but both are correct. Statements are correct. Next. assertion economic activities grouped into the three categories are highly dependent economic activities means primary secondary tertiary these are grouped into the three categories are highly dependent reason is a primary and secondary activities cannot produce a good unless they are aided supported by the tertiary sector raga standing voucher very good sit down both are correct assertion and reason are the correct and reason has correct explanation of a okay assertion stand up again example no i need example stand up again i need example that example which will be explains that the primary sector is dependent on a secondary sector जो है <laughs> क्या है इट मीन सेकेंडरी सेक्टर डिपेंडेंट ऑन प्राइमरी सेक्टर माई क्वेश्चन इज अ प्राइमरी सेक्टर डिपेंडेंट ऑन सेकेंडरी सेक्टर मशीन मैन्युफैक्चर इन इंडस्ट्रीज आर यूज एज अ इनपुट रॉ मटीरियल इन एग्रीकल्चर फॉर इंक्रीजिंग द प्रोडक्शन सिट डाउन फर्टिलाइजर्स इंसेक्टिसाइड मैन्युफैक्चर इन इंडस्ट्रीज यूज इन अ प्राइमरी सेक्टर प्राइमरी सेक्टर इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन सेकेंडरी सेक्टर जो आपने कहा goods produced in a primary sector used in a secondary sector is a, a secondary sector dependent on a primary sector both are dependent same as a tertiary sector also dependent that's why as a reason it was as a correct all three sectors are interdependent not as a independent clear next next assertion is the share of agriculture in gdp is declining share of agriculture has declining decreases in gdp reason is agriculture sector is facing the problems like as a seasonal unemployed disguised unemployed unirrigated land debt trap r is not 
Raghav, your answer. I'm again repeating as a session and a reason. A session is a, the share of agriculture in GDP is declining in these days. Presently as a declining since last 30, 40 years. The reason is agriculture sector is facing the problems of unirrigated land, seasonal unemployed, hidden unemployed, debt trap, etc. Not okay. Second one, Bhavin. A. Very good. Another equal option. Now online. Name. Krish Lutra. Krish Lutra. Raise your hand. Krish Lutra. Krish yes, Lutra. sir. Yes, answer. Which option you will choose? First, second, third, or fourth? A session reason based. Sir, please repeat the question. A session is a the share of agriculture in GDP is a declining in these days. Reason is agriculture sector is facing the problems like as unirrigated land, uh, debt trap, disguised unemployed, seasonal unemployed. Sir, uh, uh, assertion is correct, but the reason is not correct uh, explanation. Reason, <laughs> it means both are correct. Both are correct. No, sir. Assertion is correct. Reason is incorrect. Reason is false. Reason is false. Assertion is true according to the Krish Lutra. Those, ha, bolo. Assertion is false. False means the share of uh, uh, agriculture sector is not declining in GDP. Ye aapke accordingly hai. Aapke accordingly hai. So in chapter, second chapter, you read about that. 21 to 25 percent is the share of an agriculture sector in a GDP. 21 to 25 percent means remaining 75 percent has constituted wider tertiary in the secondary sectors. Aap galat hain. Both the statements are correct, and a second R is a correct explanation of a assertion. Just like a sedan. Aapne kab kaha? Aapne first kaha tha? Yes. Kaise hoga? Share, share of agriculture has declining. Why is it Most of the workers which are not getting the jobs in other sectors, they are dependent on the agriculture sector. What is it per capita income reduce? That's why share, GDP share reduce the GDP share in the agriculture share. Second, as a most number of the farmers, they are changing as their traditional ways. Earlier, those farmers which were practicing as agriculture, now they are moving towards as industries. They are selling their agriculture feeds. That's why the production is also influencing. Reason is a correct explanation of a assertion. Very good answer. Next, which one of the following pairs of activities are not correctly matched? Not correctly matched. First, smelting of iron, secondary sector. Smelting of iron in secondary sector. Second, querying in primary sector. Querying, Q U A double R Y I N G. Querying in part of your knowledge. This is a term which is associated with your knowledge, that knowledge which you attain in a previous classes. This is a synonym of a, one of the terms which you learned this year. Querying in primary sector. And last, Patience. Communication in what's many gata? Smelting of iron in a secondary sector, querying in a primary sector, and and administrators. In a admin, sorry, maybe so what is the catatensco? Gaining in a tertiary sector, gaining in tertiary sector. That's a quite easier. I'm repeating again three options are there, three uh, pairs are there. First, smelting of iron secondary, 
squaring in a primary and ginning in a tertiary. Ginning in tertiary. Squaring in, squaring in primary sector is not correctly matched. Raghav. Same. Bhavi. Two and three. Both are incorrectly matched. Stand up. Yes, you. Ginning in tertiary. So Nishta said ginning in tertiary is the correct answer. This is as a not correctly matched. Ginning means a process in which the cotton seeds are separated from the cotton balls. It is as associated with the secondary sector. In cotton textile industries, cotton seeds separated from the cotton balls. Afterwards, such cotton, it has used for a making of a thread. Thread has used for a weaving processes. After weaving, it has used for the dyeing purposes. After the dyeing, cutting, stitching, and afterwards as a shirt selling in a market. Cotton textiles. Querying is a way through which we extract the minerals from the surface, mining. above the surface of earth. It is the synonym of a mining. Mining means when we extract the minerals beneath the layers of earth crust. Querying means when we extract the minerals which are lies in above the surface of earth crust. Above the surface of earth crust. For example, the river valleys are consisting of bauxite and gold. Above the surface, sand which has extracted from the river valleys is a querying. Here we are not extracting the sand beneath the layers of earth crust. Petroleum is a part of a mining. Extraction of a crude oil, extraction of a coal, iron ore, which you read in a metals and a non-metals in science. It is a part of a mining. Pada hua. Abhi pada hai na science mein. Apne pada hua. Metals and non-metals. Thank you.